everyone, Kristen here with Team Brushna. Today I'm going to show you all how to create your own platformer collector using Brushna's Run and Catch template. To get started, head to the official website, which is brushna.io, and then scroll down until you see the game templates. Look for the Run and Catch template and press the Create button to open up the editor. Once the editor has been opened, notice that we'll be able to edit different aspects of our game on the left and right hand side. We'll start by focusing on the stuff on the left hand side first, starting with the avatar. Click the avatar tab on the left hand side. Picking a new avatar will change the look of our main player character. I think I'll use this goat for my game. Next, we'll change our game's background by clicking on the background tab on the left hand side of the editor. There are a bunch of different options to choose from, so make sure to scroll through until you find your favorite one and then add it to your game. Next, we'll customize any obstacles that we want in our game by clicking on the Obstacles tab on the left-hand side of the editor. I think I'll add this bomb as an obstacle to my game. After that, we'll be customizing all of the collectibles available in our game by clicking on the Collectibles tab on the left side of the editor. The collectibles will be what the player has to collect in order to increase their score, so make sure to pick items that you like. For my game, I'm just going to add a couple of fruits and vegetables. Now that I've picked out some collectibles for my game, I'm going to add some non-collectibles next. Click the non-collectibles tab on the left side of the editor. Non-collectibles will damage the player's health points if collected. There are a ton of different options here, so make sure to scroll through until you find the ones that you would like to add to your game. Personally, I think I will be looking for an arrow. This will be perfect, so I'm going to add that one as a non-collectible for my game. Next, we'll customize our game's music track. Click on the music tab on the left side of the editor. Here you can press the play button to listen to any of the tracks that you would like to preview. And if there's one that you like, you can press the plus button to add it to your game. I think I'll add this rotate track to my game. Now that we're done customizing the items on the left side of our screen, take a look at the right side of the editor under the game info tab. In the game info tab, we can customize our game's title, tags, category, and description. I think I'll title my game, Catch Fruits and Veggies. Next we'll customize the tags for our game, and add tags like Fruit, Veggies, and Goat. Next we'll customize the category for our game. Categories include Games for Good, Enterprise, Education, Social and Entertainment, Health, and Sports. For my game, I think I'll just go with Social and Entertainment. Now we can choose whether or not we'd like to collect the email addresses from our players. For this option, I usually leave it unchecked for my games. Now we'll customize our game's description. For my game's description, I will put collect fruits and veggies and avoid arrows. Now that we're done with our game's description, scroll back up to the top and click on the levels tab. The Levels tab is where we will customize different levels of our game. For this video, we'll just be customizing Level 1. You'll notice that both the character and the background that we've chosen for our game is shown here as well. Because of this, we can skip to customizing the introduction. For this level's introduction, I'm going to put Avoid the Arrows and Collect Fruits and Veggies. Next, we'll customize the question section. This is where we tell the player what to catch. Here, I will put collect fruits and veggies. Now we'll customize the closing answer for our game. For my game, I will just put thank you for playing my game. After our closing answer, we can customize our game's completion score. The completion score will be the score required to complete the level. I'm going to leave mine at the default value of 30 for my game. The next section will be customizing our collectibles. You'll notice that there are a lot of collectibles here by default already, including the ones that we chose to add to our game earlier. I'm going to press the X button to remove the collectibles that I don't want in my game. Now we'll take a look at the non-collectibles. You'll notice here that by default there are a few non-collectibles that were added here as well. 
Lastly, check your obstacles section and make sure that it looks correct. If everything looks correct, your game is ready to publish. Press the publish button at the top of the editor. Now you can copy the URL and share it with your friends and family, or you can press play to start playing your game.